Hello everyone and welcome back once again to my channel. Today I have a bit of a different kind of video for you guys. This video will be all about exploring some of the more weird and funny places in Microsoft Flight Simulator. The makers of MFS 2020 have put a lot of effort into adding countless famous monuments and landmarks into the sim and every world update brings even more sites to visit. You can find so many nice buildings and other architectural works and they are great if you want to do something other than a simple flight from point A to B. But this video won't be about all of those monuments. For one, there are simply too many of them and I would probably need a dozen videos to cover all of them. And beside that, most of these landmarks are just simple towers or statues or whatever. And once you've seen one, you've kind of seen them all. What we'll explore in this video are some of the weird and unusual mods that add all sorts of fictional places to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Most of the places we're about to see don't exist in real life and so everything is possible with these mods. All of the mods you'll see today can be downloaded for free at flightsim.2 and a link to every single one of them will be in the description below. Very quickly before we set off be sure to do a touch and go on that subscribe button along with the bell icon right beside it so you never miss out on any new uploads. Also don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and don't hesitate to let me know down below in the comments what you would like to see next on the channel. Now without further delay let's get started. First on our list is the landmark featured in the thumbnail of this video and that's Hogwarts. This is of course the famous wizard school where a lot of us probably wanted to go as a small kid back in the day and it is also the main setting for the Harry Potter movies. Beside the large school building you can also find the stadium where in the movies they did that very weird sport with the uh, ball with wings and the uh, brooms and whatnot. Not really sure what they called it but yeah. And somewhere near the school and stadium there is a cozy Ibis hotel where you would be able to stay for the night to continue your trip through this magical place. Up next we have a couple of monuments dedicated to another well-known movie franchise, the Lord of the Rings movies. The main attraction of this landmark is the large tower that comes with the scenery and beside that you can also find a bunch of other sites, like these two statues and this right here. I personally am not all that familiar with these movies so I can't really tell you what everything is. So if you know then you know and if you don't then you can always watch the movies in your spare time. Putting aside the movie universe for now we are continuing to the next landmark which everyone will know. It's the Titanic. Seconds before the collision with the iceberg that condemned it to the bottom of the ocean. The maker of this mod has even put the effort to design the interior here and there, which is quite nice. Moving on, we have another site that I'm not really familiar with, but do find worthy of this list. A giant statue of a figure from the Gundam universe, which is a universe within the anime franchise, from what I could find on the internet. Don't really know much about this character, but I thought it was fun to include it in this uh, video anyway. Now we are going to dive back into the world of blockbuster movies. Up next we have the famous boat from Jaws, the Orca, being attacked by the main antagonist of the movie, which is of course the shark. What's so nice about this is that it's actually an animation that is in a loop, so the shark will attack the boat and then withdraw, only to attack once again, and this for all eternity. This landmark can be found off the shore of Cape Cod, where the movie was set in real life just like the Titanic mod was set in the Atlantic Ocean. The next two landmarks should definitely ring a bell with most of you as they've appeared on the news several times very recently. The first being the mysterious monolith that was discovered in the Utah desert and of which nobody knew who put it there or even why. You can now find this place in the sim as well although it is not so mysterious this time as we know exactly who put it there but a neat little landmark regardless. Moving on we have the evergreen ship that was blocking the Suez Canal for days on end and caused an enormous traffic jam at sea. This mod in particular isn't the best you can find. There are multiple versions of it, some are more detailed than others and with some you also get a ton of extra ships that in the canal waiting for the ship to be towed away. 
Maybe this sort of thing will become a trend in the future, whenever something happens in real life and people start making mods to add that exact event in the scene at almost real time. It's kind of fun to see what uh, people do with their free time sometimes. And then lastly we have my two personal favorites. Both are dedicated to the Star Wars franchise and those movies I've seen countless times and I keep enjoying them no matter how old they get. The first mod is an entire fleet of Star Destroyers based in southern France, along with a relatively small version of the Death Star. On the ground there was also a group of AT-ATs. All very cool stuff, but the second Star Wars themed mod is even cooler. This mod features a Star Destroyer that is even bigger than the last one, and it even has a built-in runway, where you can take off and land right next to a detachment of stormtroopers. With the structure of this size, it shouldn't come as a surprise that the frame rate inside the hangar slash runway was quite bad, but outside it was alright. Of all the mods we just covered, this is by far my favorite and also the one you can do the most with. While the others are only good for looking at them once, you can use this one as a fun little landing challenge to do by yourself or with friends, so that makes it a little bit more unique than all of the other mods. That's going to be it for this video guys, if you enjoyed it be sure to leave a like and don't forget to do a touch and go on that subscribe button, as well as the bell icon right beside it. Also let me know down below in the comment section if you enjoyed this type of video, it's kind of a different video compared to what we normally have on the channel, and it also took a bit more effort and work than my usual full flight videos and tutorials, but I still had a lot of fun making it and I hope you enjoyed watching it as well. If you want, you can also reach out to me on Instagram for any requests or aviation related questions. They are obviously more than welcome. And here's some of my other content, should you be interested to see more of me. For now, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.